Hey, this is Chris Arnett, and I'm going to show you how to create a mind map movie that is phenomenal. So first of all, you want to go to Google and type in photo, oops, sorry, photo story three. For Windows. And here's one right that came up uh, for Windows 7. I have Windows 7, but you just can go do this one here. I'm going to go with the one for Windows 7. It also comes in one for Mac. Okay. And you want to look for a download page. It's called a download page. Microsoft has their version, but I like to go to other places to get my versions first. And we have one right here. It's uh, called download.cnet.com, Photo Story 3 for Windows. And here's the download. So what you're going to do is just click on the Download Now tab. And it just takes a moment for it to come up or transfer you. Okay, and it says your download will begin in a moment. So if you wait a moment, uh, a download box should pop up. And once you uh, download it, go ahead and install it. See, there's mine. Click Save File, and we'll be back after I install it. Okay, we're back, and right in front of me is the opening page that you'll see. But before we begin, to create the mind map we need a couple of things first of all we need some photos so this here is uh, the best address you can get photos from one of the best ones it's called xsc.hu there will be a word document with this package and it'll have a long list of places you can go to of all different types of images a very very long list okay so in order to use it, what you want to do is put your mouse over, let's say, Stock Exchange, which is this one right here, the one that's already uh, showing the actual link address. Put your mouse over it, hit your Control tab. Notice how it sl switches over to a finger when I do that? Okay, double click, and your Word document will export from the page and bring up a Word browser or I'm sorry, a, a browser. I use Firefox, but it may bring up your Internet Explorer browser. Okay, and then all you have to do is search for what you want in here. Type into the, uh, you'll have to join actually uh, sometimes on some of these sites. I'm not signed in, but I can still search. So let's see what's in the area of, let's say, uh, camping. So that's one of the activities you want to put down download photos of activities that you enjoy you know the lifestyle that you want to live okay now be careful the ones up at the top are actually uh, you have to pay for those they're through a company called iStock and we're not looking for all that okay here's camping photos and we have 22 pages of it do not click on these down here either you notice if I hold my mouse over it Let's try this one here. And this one. There it is. It says I stock photo if you look very carefully. Okay. So you can go through all the pages and download. You know, a photo looks good of camping. Now, I've already downloaded some photos. Uh, I happen to be a dome home lover. So I'm going to create a mind map movie around dome homes. Okay. So we have our browser set up or our photo story 3 already set up let's go ahead and click uh, it says begin a new story so let's click next and now we're going to import pictures and those are it's going right to my picture folder but I actually put a folder on my desktop that I'm going to snatch the folders from Okay, let's see, let's go down here, and there we go. So, I'm just going to highlight 
and then drag this all the way up here. And there we go. It's now loaded in. Okay. These are all pictures of dome homes. And I'm going to click next and ignore all this. Click next. Click next. And of course, click next. And where do I want it to store this? I want to put this on the desktop. Okay. It says browse there. And we're just going to click desktop. And good. Okay, click next. And it's now preparing the movie. And it's going to be done really, really fast. This program works real fast. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. It's creating the movie right now. It creates a dynamic moving type of photos where it scrolls in and it kind of moves around. It gives it more of a 3D kind of look instead of just a boring photo. And I'm going to pause the program while it does its work. Okay, well that went really fast at about three seconds after I hit pause. So, let's go ahead and click exit. And do you want to save the project now? I'm not interested, so let's do that. And over here we have our movie. It should be in what's called a WMV file, or you hold your mouse over it, Windows uh, Media Video File, because I'm using Windows. And we'll just open this up real quick. I'll make that bigger. It's a little bit too big, so let's go ahead and shrink that down again. And the mouse gets a little sticky here. Let's stretch that here. Stretch that here. There we go. And let me just drag the corner, and it's already beginning. Okay, you see how the f the camera seems to be moving in. And because I'm using a screen capture program, it interferes with uh, my video, so it's going to drag. So it's created a moving f picture. and see how it's moving closer and moving around. That's how you want to create a powerful mind map movie, something that's more dynamic, that will hold your interest instead of just flat photos. So we have that prepared. Now you, if you're on a Windows, uh, you need your Windows Movie Maker. If you don't have Windows, then you probably uh, are on a Mac system, and Mac has their own free movie editing program also. So I'm going to go grab, I'm on Windows 7, so I'm going to grab my Movie Maker uh, 2.6. Now, it doesn't come bundled with uh, the uh, Windows program, so let me show you where you can go get that. Uh, we'll go to Google. And then just type in Windows Movie Maker 2.6 for Windows 7. And you see it already does pop up in the drop down box. Uh, Windows Movie Maker for Windows. Uh, here's the download. So let's go and click on that. And if you go to Microsoft, you can get it there. Uh, there's other places you can get it, uh, download it, CNET, the place I was just at a moment ago, uh, free software and downloads. This is for uh, Windows 7 and Vista. Vista and Windows 7. So here it is right here. You can download it. It's about seven small megabytes. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. And here is my... Uh, Windows Movie Maker program. Let's see if I can shrink it up a little bit so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. And that's good right there. Okay. All right. I'm going to drag this out just a little bit so it give us more room. Okay. What you're going to do is import pictures. Let's go to 
uh, are actually I'm sorry that's the old way let's import video import video and go to the desktop and then we'll just go find that video that we created and there it is right there and just import it's going to bring that photo story one video in okay we've got our uh, video in so what we want to do next is just highlight it and drag it down to the timetable down here and that'll cause it to appear down there okay now we just need music now I have a browser open you can go get type in stock free music and select music from various sources you can get your iPod get your favorite music import it to your computer and use it because you're not going to show this video for monetary reasons uh, you're just going to use it for your own private use on your own computer uh, you can import your own music uh, I'm going to get music that's already on my computer so I'm going to go to my sample music file just to use for an example here let's go to libraries and I believe it's music and then we have some sample music here that actually comes with your Windows program and I like the sleep a light the uh, night away song and it's importing that right now okay I'm going to see if I can make this just a little bit bigger up oh, is still importing it'll be done in just a moment okay there it is so it showed up alright we're gonna drag this down a little bit so we can open up our timeline a little bit more and raise that up here so you can see what's going on okay let's go ahead and drag your music down and see how it fits right in there it knows where to go and that's a pretty big file it goes on and on so I'm going to shrink this up so I can see and there it is okay now if you take your mouse see how it highlights in red just drag your cursor to the left and you want it to end right about actually I'm gonna make it go just a little bit further because I want to put some titles on here alright let's go ahead and increase the size by going over here this was the decrease it this one uh, makes it larger so we just click that a few times to blow it back up and there we are we have some size to it so let's go up here to where <clears throat> it says titles and credits click on that I'm going to show you how to create a opening title and a closing <clears throat> and then we'll put some uh, words on the screen and sometimes these programs are, are a little slow it takes a while to get there so let's go to the first one title at the beginning this is where you type your title and I'll just call it dome homes and we're not done yet though we want to select an animation how you want that title to come in okay and I like to play around with all these different animations let's select zoom out and watch the screen over there see how it zooms out okay and then we want to select the type of font we want to use okay I like impact because it really is a strong font but you can choose whichever one you want and see how the words look stronger okay click done and it add add it right there okay let's go back to make titles and credits credits at the end and you could put anything you want there uh, this is my life or whatever you want and if you don't change anything it's gonna do the same thing <clears throat> with the animation <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just put that in there and it's see how it added at the end. Now we want some uh, titles on the actual f 
video here. So let's play the video, Dome Homes. And there's the first one. Okay. So we want this to appear on there. So let's click this and let's click, um, let's click this right here. I love Dome Homes. And that should appear right where the cursor is. Oh, it, if it didn't, just drag it to where you want it to appear on the uh, timeline here. Okay, let's go back and create another one. Let's see, we want on the selected clip. This is my treat for sticking to my diet. See what I'm doing here? And I that shows up right there. And let's go ahead and we can drag that anywhere we want. Okay. Looks like uh, my news is a little bit too long, so let's go ahead and highlight that and drag it to the left to right where the uh, video actually ends. And let's go right here. There we go. Now, if you right click on the sound, you can uh, fade in and fade out. So let's click fade in and right click again on the sound and fade out. You can also uh, adjust the volume. So if you click on volume here, if you slide it to the left, it reduces the volume. If you slide it to the right, of course, increases the volume. So let's, I'm going to put my volume right about there and click OK. Now you want to s produce your movie. Okay, let's click Save to my computer. So what I've done is I've used this program to do more fancier edits that the the Photo uh, 3, I just haven't discovered, can do just yet. Let's uh, call this Mind Map movie for domes. Okay, it's going to save right to my desktop. I'm going to click next. It tells me it's going to be about six megabytes. And let's go ahead and click next. And it's going to start making the movie. So I'm going to pause the program while it makes the movie and then we'll come back and view it. Okay, right in front of me is the finished mind map movie, and you'll be able to listen in and hear how it sounds. So let's start our movie. See how the words come up? Now again, my screen capture program is interfering with this video. Actually, I forgot to put the... Uh, the type of uh, animation I want on there. But you can fill up all of your videos with photos of what you want to achieve. Okay, You can fill it up with places you want to go, how you want to live your life. Because the goal is to create the type of life that you truly want to live. We don't want to be stuck in this diet phase the rest of our lives. We want to develop the right eating habits and live the kind of life that you want to, that you truly want to. Okay. And it's going to repeat, repeat until I click the pause button. So make your mind movie and create the type of life that you truly want to live. You have the tools right in front of you. So let's get to it now. 